I have a question. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I wasn't the only one that found the Grinch hot, right? This was a popular opinion, correct? Recently, I've been thinking a lot about the Grinch. And by a lot, I mean a lot. And it's not because it's December. It's not the month of the green man. No, the other green man. Yeah, that one. I've been thinking about the Grinch since August? July, maybe? And this can't be healthy. I think I might have an issue. Might have a wee bit of a problem. And I'm here on YouTube to fix it. It's just every time I think about him in the Santa outfit, the only person who could pull it off better than Mrs. Claus is the Grinch. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Not the point. Not thinking about Mrs. Claus. Distraction. Okay. Actually, no, talking about the Grinch 24-7 is my only topic. And Mrs. Claus deserves more appreciation in from us. As a people, the human race needs to appreciate her more. He owns a house, a car-ish machine, and a really cute dog. What more could you want? And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Kelby, what about the theft and breaking and entering? Number one, everyone has their off days. You can't hold all his decisions against him. And number two, the parents of Whoville had every chance to stop this man. At one point, they heard him land on the roof. Very. What? Did you hear something? <gasps> it's Santa. Go right now to sleep. If you, in your 40s, hear someone breaking and entering into your house and you do nothing because you think it is Saint Nicholas, that is natural selection creeping up on you. Plus, look at these mad skills. Something else you might wanna add onto the Grinch's resume is that he can control moth. Can you do that? No, I didn't think so. So praise him. The worst thing he did was get tricked by a child. Santa? What? Don't forget the Grinch. I know he's mean and hairy and smelly. His hands might be cold and clammy, but I think he's actually kind of sweet. Sweet! She starts saying, oh, I wish the Grinch could have a great Christmas and blah, blah, blah. And then somehow that gets into his mind and he thinks, oh, he hasn't been caught. No, she clearly recognised you and was lying because she didn't want to be robbed, but she couldn't stop you. His grand disguise, the way he wanted no one to see his identity, was he put a beard and a hat on. He's the only green person that lives near Whoville. How does he think she wouldn't recognise him? You kind of stand out, buddy. But other than that, the Grinch is perfect. That is the end of my TED talk. 